So here I want to go over the three different stages of labor that happen to your pelvis as you're literally delivering a baby. So when we start working with you in the office, we're often in stage one, which is engagement. So what's happening here is here's the pelvis. It is opening up like this, okay? To make room for baby in the pelvic inlet to drop and engage in that pelvis. The sacrum does something called counter nutation, or it tilts back this way to again create space in this pelvic inlet. So I'm gonna go over a stretch to help with that and give you some space if you're feeling like you need some room, either when you're in labor and or getting ready for labor and delivery prep. On your ball, you know we love the ball, you're gonna think about rocking your pelvis forward. So bring your tailbone forward and bring it back. You could also add in some hand movement with the knees here, bring your pelvis back, tuck that tailbone and come back up. Again, we're trying to create space in that pelvic inlet for baby to drop and engage in the pelvis. So again, forward and back, just like that. Now this movement you can do anywhere. You can also do it on your knees. Again, grabbing the ball, bring your pelvis forward and back. So just some tailbone tucks. Tuck that tailbone and bring it back up. That's stage one. Stage two, baby, head has to come down into the pelvis and then rotate to then make their way through the birth canal. So for that motion, the pelvis has to actually do a little bit of rocking like this. So this is the type of movement we're gonna be entering in stage two of labor. Movements for that could be you standing in place and just shifting your weight side to side. You can do this anywhere. Just shift your weight side to side, get some movement in that pelvis, okay? Option two, back on our ball. Same idea, except seated on the ball, I'm just gonna shift my hips side to side, give myself some room, help encourage some of that movement, that natural pelvic movement for that second stage of labor, okay? Finally, stage three, our sacrum has opened first this way. Now the sacrum has to actually tilt back this way so the baby's head can come through the birth canal. Can you see that there? This has to open like this. So it actually mutates in this case or rocks forward. This instance, what we wanna do is create more space in the back of the pelvis, okay? So for this movement, what you wanna do, and I'm gonna use just a standing squat to show you, when my legs and my knees are together and my feet are out, I'm actually creating space in that lower tailbone. So you can either A, be just here, and or maybe you add in a bit of a squat and create some space in that back tailbone, okay? So from the front side here, knees are gonna be together and you're gonna do a little awkward squat coming down. You could also do this on your ball. In case you haven't heard, get a ball. So holding onto the ball, my knees are together, my feet are out, and I'm literally just sinking back into my tailbone, creating some space in the top part of that pelvis. It is as simple as that. Hope that was helpful.